Let's see what's coming up for you, Sag. We open the month with five of coins. So there may be something that you feel like you're recovering from in terms of a financial loss. Or it could be an emotional loss. Something of value usually is... It, we're feeling like a loss of something that we really valued when it's five of coins. And the, the message of this card is to focus on the spiritual world, to focus on the lessons that it brought us rather than our current external physical situations because that can make us feel very left out in the cold, very isolated, very, this is kind of, can be a poor me kind of card. But the focus of this is that there's always nurturing and care available. There's always this glowing inner spiritual light if we can manage to focus on it. So five of coins is really a card of choice of focus, um, focusing on our internal spiritual world, our connection with everything that's always constant, regardless of what losses we may experience in the physical world. So let's see what else is coming up with that. Interesting. And this is, this is the card of the home, the four of wands, stability, security. So there may be something that you feel like you've lost something regarding the home. Some of you may have lost a home where you had to move out of somewhere or there was a sale of a home or that you, some, there may be a loss regarding the home at the opening of, um, March and it may you know for some of you if you are changing jobs it may be that you're changing to a different job and you're having to move out of your you know favorite home that you've lived in for a while there's something to do with the completion and maybe feeling like you've lost something valuable but there's also very sweet energy here six of cups this has to do with reunion um from someone with someone from your past feeling childlike. Both of these are very sweet, stable, secure cards. So it may be that you're experiencing some sort of loss, Sag, but that there's all this support for you. This is stability and security. This is people that you know from the past, someone that you can trust, someone that you can laugh and feel childlike with and be innocent and share heart energy with. So regardless of if you're feeling left out in the cold in some way or you're experiencing some loss, whether it be financial or emotional, something here in the physical realm, you do still show that you have a lot of nice support and security regardless, both emotionally and in terms of the castle. So it's saying to me that, you know, if you are having to move out of somewhere, there's going to be somewhere else that feels like home to you. And this too can be a surprise. Four of Wands can be surprise festivity uh, energy. So even if, you know, I, I know this is cliche, but what these two cards t say together is if one door closes, another one opens you might be surprised with someone showing up from your past who is there to comfort you. Or you may um, renew a childhood friendship or relationship that brings you security even in your time of need. So that's going on for you, Sag, at the beginning of March. Yeah, there's, there's something that you're completing. There's a chapter that's closing. There's, you can see in both of these cards there is some sort of wounding or hardship, you know, it's like I can't do this anymore. You know, I've I've lost too much. This can be a, a poverty card, so it can feel like I just really am hitting rock bottom here. But with these cards in the center of this, it's saying that you have the resources and the support. These are yellow cards. These are optimistic. These are like you know, sharing your heart, wearing your heart on your sleeve, and sharing it with a good friend in the safety comfort and stability of the home. So they're saying that, you know, these these are here to support you. This is supportive energy for whatever you might be going through, Sag, here in, in terms of letting something go, feeling lost or bereft or left out in the cold or in, in financial poverty. It's just saying, like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to think this way anymore. I've come to the end because 10... Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a certain way of thinking. And I really get that your home network or friends, especially people you know from the past or long-term friendships or relationships, can really help nurture you through that, Sag. I've got Empress. This card's saying lack of abundance with five of coins. There's something to say about you may be feeling some sort of financial loss. 
and it may take you time to look at it from a different perspective. Um, you may have to adjust your perspective. Again, I'm seeing with the way that these wands are lining up, you may have to change your way of looking at things so that you change your way of acting um, so that you can allow this in. Empress is about abundance, satisfaction, everything growing around her, everything being nurtured. Um, and hangman means doing things your own unique way. When hangman's in reverse, it's w worrying too much about what other people think. You know, for some of you, Sages, I'm getting that you may be overly cons concerned with how much money, um, you're concerned with like showing up in a certain way, like, especially with that full moon in your 10th house. You're like, do I have the career? Do I have the status? Do I have the, the money that I need to? And this is saying, even if you don't, you may need to flip your way of thinking. You may need to like end a certain way of thinking about it. And you do have lots of support. So Hangman is encouraging you to let go of whatever fears, doubts, or resistance you may have to doing things your own unique way, Sag. You guys are pretty much usually happy-go-lucky, carefree, um, traveler types. Like you, you aren't afraid of the new horizon. And this is saying... Embrace that. Don't worry about keeping up with the Joneses. Don't worry about trying to fit in. Um, you have your own unique way of doing things, and you need to honor that and remove whatever fears you may have about doing things. And it's sort of like an eccentric, you're true to your own path. And that's where you allow in more abundance, more satisfaction. As you deal with the fears doubts or resistance about doing things your own unique way and not necessarily having to do it in a traditional uh, status-based way, regardless of what other people are thinking, regardless of what the old way that you may have been thinking, you let more of this Empress energy in, which is about wealth, prosperity, abundance, satisfaction. You put yourself in a place of receiving because right now you may not be receiving the help and the, the care and concern that is available to you. Um, you may just have to do a 180 with your thinking, Saj. And it, it's there for you. Both of these cards are here for you. They're showing up. Satisfaction, abundance, uh, growth, financial abundance. And this is doing it your way. I'm seeing, you know, with these two cards, I'm seeing like Frank Sinatra said, I did it my way, is what Empress Plus... Um, Hangman says, you know, it's someone who's acknowledging their own inner value and inner worth and their own unique way of doing things. So remove, I want to offer you the opportunity, Saj, to question any way that you're not allowing yourself to just be you and do things your own way and receive everything that's sort of coming to you or wanting to be given to you, all of the support and care and stability of the home of maybe even your family or childhood friends or a relationship this this is all beautiful energy so allow that in Sag if you're struggling with anything like this any sort of loss or the end of bottoming out the end of your rope the end of a way of thinking there is a lot of good stuff these are both major arcana cards you know all the abundance in the world complete satisfaction, receiving everything you want, and hangman, you know, seeing things from a different perspective, being enlightened, even finding comfort even in discomfort. These are here available for you. You may just have to remove any doubts, fears, or resistance to letting those in. And then middle of the month, another major arcana, death in reverse. This usually has to do with fear of letting go of something. Whenever I see death in reverse, I think of the Buddhist saying that says, let go or be dragged. So death in reverse is really saying that there are some fears, doubts, or resistance to letting go of an old way of being. It also speaks to this card, Ten of Swords, and trusting in the fact that there's new life. When we cut the rose, there's new seeds that can be planted that bring new life, but you have to cut the rose and harvest those seeds in order to make that transformation from life how it was before to life how it's going to be. So there, the middle of the month may be a big time for you to let go of things from the past, to honor your own way of doing things, 
seeing things from a different perspective and allow the bounty and the abundance of life that is wanting to come to you. But there, because these are all in reverse, there is some work to be done in terms of addressing, confronting, and removing any fear, doubt, or resistance you have to this. So there may, you may have a fear of, say, branching out and doing your own business that you know is going to be very profitable because of an old way of being and saying, oh, I can't do it. But if you look at it, all of those are available. It's saying change is here. Look at it from a different perspective. Do it your own way and be the one who is receiving it all, whose life is growing and, and is full and fertile and abundant. So, Sad, you, I see a lot of opportunity here, but it's going to take some inner work to remove whatever blockages. You are ready to move on from something that could relate to your full moon in the 10th house of career. This card is showing up right around this new moon in Pisces in your fourth house. So this could be you moving to a new home. This shows Eight of Cups moving on from something that we have put a lot of our heart energy into. And it could be that you've worked at the same company for a long time and you're afraid of branching off, you know, doing it your own way, leaving something that has always been, letting go of that rose and, you know, maybe potentially receiving the financial abundance. Um, this tells me that you're ready to move on from something, Sag. March 17th. Plant a new seed. Explore new lands. It's a really good time to do that um, because you're done with the old way. You might be fearful about letting it go is what death in reverse says to me. But you are ready. to. This is a completion and this is ready to move on to the next cycle. So let's see what else is going on. Two of swords in reverse. Fear of making a decision. Six of swords. This is recovery and healing. I'm really glad to see this after this. As you can see, these are swords cards, Sag, which has to do with our thinking, our ideas, beliefs, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. This means I can no longer do it this way. This is uh, an old thought pattern that is no, no longer serving you. Six of swords means healing and recovery from that. It means new, new ways of thinking. It means going from a charged, difficult situation to new land, to ter new territory. Actually echoes this card as well. Um, this card kind of says your heart's not in it anymore, whatever you're moving on from. But I'm seeing that there's something, this two of swords is a decision that needs to be made that you're having a hard time making. There's something that needs to be moved on from that feels difficult. This card says, I don't know whether to go left or to go right, therefore I'm going to check out. I don't know whether to follow this sword or this sword, this idea or that idea, therefore I'm not going to deal with it. I'm just going to be stagnant. But this card says, you know what? I am willing to look for new, smoother horizons. I am willing to move on. I'm actually willing to receive help or give help or help myself. So four of, four, I mean, sorry, six of swords has to do with moving on to uh, new horizons. I'm really getting echoes of this card, and you Sages know how to do that. Again, exploring new horizons, horizons comes naturally to you. So look at mid-month. If you're ready to move on from something, even if you're having a hard time making a decision, it can really provide you with a lot of healing and recovery and going from what feels like chaos to something that feels calm and serene. New lands, new territory. And let's see what's going on at the end of the month, Saj. Financial abundance. Viva la difference between these two cards, right? Financial poverty, feeling left out in the cold, and this is feeling warm and content inside, secure. It's feeling, you know, 10 of coins is the most amount of coins on a card there is. This is the inheritance card. This is the windfall of money. It's like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I often think of that with this card. It's financial abundance. So once you heal, you once you confront this decision that you're having a hard time making and actually move on from something that is no longer serving you, you know, that you need to release old ways of thinking about, Sag, you actually put yourself in a place where you heal and recover from something. For some of you, this may be releasing addictions even. That can be this bottoming out card. You're healing, recovering, even if you don't know which way to go. And it actually brings you to a place of security, financial abundance. Uh, this is the content, happy family 
in the castle. I sometimes call this my returns on investment card, where you gather lots of rewards from having made good decisions over time. And this healing, it's a new way of thinking that brings you a lot of reward, Sag. So that's what I'm seeing here. But you do have to confront making a decision. You do have to let go of something that's no longer serving you. I'm really getting that some of this stagnant energy, Ten of Swords, Hangman in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse, needs to be cleared out and dealt with. You actually need to take some sort of action with it. But I see you doing it at the end of the month. Recovery and healing leading to good rewards and results. And let's see what else is up here. Lovers in reverse. Interesting. Okay, so this is another... You've got a lot of major arcana cards here, Sad. One, two, three, four of them. Um, so this may... There may some, be some big themes that come up. These cards both talk about relationship. This one is security and stability in the relationship. This one, when I see lovers in reverse, it talks about two things to me. It may be a unwillingness to be vulnerable, fearful about exposing oneself, or it could be a hard time making a decision, which also echoes this card. So I'm going to say that there is great stability and security available to you towards the end of the month, but you may want to also just consider how your relationship is showing up in terms of this. You know, are you happy financially, but you're looking for that relationship? Are you, do you look good from the outside, but inside you're fearful about really revealing yourself? There's a lot of ways in which there, there's some sort of fear, doubt, or resistance to opening up and showing your true self, which allows you true security. So those are going to be some themes. I see a lot of recovery available to you, Sag, in March, especially as you address outmoded ways of thinking or flipping your perspective, letting go of something that's no longer serving you and moving on from it. And as you make that decision, as you confront your fears about making a decision, you actually take yourself on this nice journey away from a chaotic space to a more uh, serene place where there's a lot more um peace and harmony and security and it allows you to kind of go deeper into showing yourself more truly in a more authentic way so i see a lot of progression here in march but there's a lot of stuff major stuff to open up and look at so that you can turn around certain ways of thinking that will allow you to move on